Well, hi, kids. Oh, good to see the Lions and their partners back with us. Yes, it is. And we're here for another lion adventure, and that one is... King of the Jungle. King of the Jungle. Ooh. Oh, the lion is the king of the jungle, they say. Yes, and how can you tell the lion? Oh, I think you can tell the lion because he's got this big, bushy hairdo. Oh, yes. They call that a mane, and that's how you recognize the lion. Oh. Or at least the male lion. Yes. So, Carl, what are we getting in today with the king of the jungle? Well, we're going to start today with a flag ceremony. Now, Lions, you'll have an opportunity to do a flag ceremony of your own, uh, but we want to show you how one is done, and this is going to be done by a Scouts BSA troop, and they'll be showing us how to raise a flag on a flagpole. Oh, okay. Okay, so we've got a color guard, and somebody's going to call it, and uh, then after you guys get some experience and practice doing that a few times, you'll get to do a flag ceremony uh, probably at a pack meeting as well, okay? All right, so let's watch the Boy Scouts as they put up a flag. Color Guard, attention. Color Guard, forward march. Prepare to post colors. Please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Scout salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Color Guard, reform. Color Guard, dismissed. Hey Lions, welcome back. Did you enjoy that flag ceremony? Are you ready to do one now? All right, very good. Well, you know, respecting our flag and uh, doing our Pledge of Allegiance like we did with the flag, uh, those are things that show that we're a good citizen for our country. Yes. And our yes, community. Yes, So. Why don't we talk a little bit about what it means to be a good citizen? Yes, we can do that. Now, on the other side of that, Carl, those things that sometimes people do that is not being a good citizen. Oh, you're right. You're right. There are some there are some things that we ought not do. Yes. Okay. So, but one of the things, if we're going to be a good citizen, one of the things we want to do is follow the rules. Okay. Now, you're probably learning that in school, uh, which is a good thing, uh, because you've got some rules in your classroom. You probably have some rules at home with your family, and you may even have some rules that you need to follow uh, when you go to a DIN meeting, uh, when you meet with your other lions and their adult partners. So, you need to follow those rules. Yes. Now, being a bad citizen oh. is when you don't follow the rules and you get mad and upset and throw a temper tantrum. That wouldn't be a good thing. No. That's not a good thing at all. Okay. All right. Now, we talked about the flag here just a little bit ago. Talked about Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. One of the things that we want to do as a good citizen is to fly our flag uh, on special holidays uh, and and 
So maybe you've got a flagpole in your front yard or maybe you've got a place where you can uh, uh, hang a pole off of your front porch. Uh, and so on special days like Memorial Day and Flag Day in June and the 4th of July and President's Day and uh, special occasions like that, uh, you've got an opportunity to, to go outside and hang your flag up on your front porch. And that would be a sign of, a, of being a good citizen. Yes, it is, Carl. Now, you mentioned 4th of July. Yeah. Now, on 4th of July, a lot of times we have picnics. Oh. So being a bad citizen is if you have a picnic and leave your trash laying around. Oh, that, that's not good <coughs> at all, is no. it? No. No, you always want to clean up after yourself. Yes. We want, as scouts, we want to try to leave a place better than we found it. Yes, we do. That's one of the things we want to do. Yes. All right. Well, you know, sometimes at school we find things. Uh, it may be just a pencil on the floor, uh, but maybe we found some money laying in the hall uh, of the school or in the cafeteria when we're having lunch. Uh, so one of the good things that we can do is anything that we find like that, we can turn over, we can give to our teacher or the school principal so that they can see if they can find who to give that back to because somebody's missing that. Yes, they are. And since we're talking about school, there's some behavior at school that is being a bad citizen and that's saying bad things about somebody. Oh. That's Making fun of them. That's not good. No, no. That's not good at all. No, we shouldn't make fun of other people. No, we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. So, but you've probably learned already that one of the good things that you can do when you're at school and the teacher's uh, doing the lesson, uh, that if you have a question or a comment to make, that you raise your hand and wait for the teacher to call on you uh, and you get permission to speak uh, and and then you can ask your question or make your comment so that's that's being a good citizen that's respecting other people and giving other people a chance to participate getting them a chance to talk uh, in the class too yes and right along with that Carl if you're making too much noise either in your classroom or at home or in your place of worship, that's being a bad citizen. Mm -hmm. That's not good. No, not that's at not all. Good. No, no. So there's some things that we can do as scouts uh, to make sure that we're acting and showing people what a good citizen is like. So we hope you'll follow some of those things and uh, Listen to your adult partner. Which brings us to, what is a leader? Oh, yes, a leader is very important, Carl. Now, a leader is someone that doesn't just tell us what to do, but they'll show us and explain to us so we understand and can do the task or whatever and get through it. Okay. So, like our teacher in the classroom? Yes. Our teacher at school? Or if we play sports, maybe our coach. Oh, a coach would be a good one. Uh, maybe uh, maybe our own parents. Oh, or definitely. Our guardians. Uh, you know, when they uh, help show us uh, how to clean our room or help with some chores around oh, the house. Oh, yes. Uh, they're being a good leader because they're showing us how we can help and it's important that we help out around the house too isn't it uh, oh yes and you know and your religious leader oh, yes. at church or your place of worship church synagogue mosque wherever you might go to church uh that's uh your religious leader uh, is going to provide you some some good teaching uh as to how uh, you should live your life and uh so uh, they're a good leader too and and we need to follow the example that they give us uh, so that we can know what what uh, the right things are that we should be doing now Carl whenever we're with scouts whether it's at our meetings or on an outing 
Do we have a leader? Yes, we do, don't we? <gasps> Ooh, and who would that be? Well, with the lions, we have a, a lion guide or a, a den leader, somebody who kind of helps make sure everything is is uh, going with the group. They help plan the meetings. They help uh, uh, get somebody to make sure the meetings are being done correctly. Uh, and uh, they help keep us informed about uh, other activities yes. that the pack is going to be involved in. Uh, they'll tell us about fun days that we yes. can participate in. They'll talk to us about uh, day camps and, and uh, family camps that we can be a part of and uh, uh, give us an opportunity to, to be a part of this great scouting program. Oh, yes. And I know they love to come out to camps and do the fishing derbies and just yes. all kinds of things like that. But there's always a leader at one of those events. That's right. That's right. There's always somebody that's in charge, somebody that's going to make sure everything runs smooth, uh, to make sure that uh, nobody gets hurt, uh, and, or if they do get hurt, to make sure that they get the help they need uh, so that, so that uh, they can be okay. Yes, and they'll give the instructions so you know exactly what to do at camp. Yes, yes, indeed. Well, that pretty much covers uh, the items that we wanted to talk with you about today in terms of the Lion Adventure King of the Jungle. So well, thanks for being with us, and uh, uh, I know Alvin's glad you're, you're here oh, with yes. us today. And so we'll see you next time for another lion adventure. So until then, remember, it's great to be alive and scouting. Bye-bye. See ya.